I'm Laura and this is my first YouTube video, so thanks for checking out my channel. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok, also under the name of Maladworks. And yeah, I will probably post speed paints like this one today. If you're wondering, I am using an iPad. I don't have a fancy iPad Pro or anything like that. I just have the normal iPad from 2020, I think. So yeah, but who am I in the first place? I am from Germany, so I also speak German. Let me know in the comments if you speak German or are from Germany even. That would be fun. And yeah, about me, I always loved to draw and paint. I just liked it since I was, I don't know, 11 years old. I kind of got started with anime and manga. I tried these, all of these how to draw manga videos on YouTube and kind of developed my own style, I would say. You can correct me if you think not or you can also tell me what you think my style is like, but I pretty much think that I have developed my own kind of style, which isn't really anime, it's not realistic, it's not really semi-realistic, it's yeah, just my own art style that I have become comfortable with. If you have any more questions about me, let me know in the comments and I hope you like the speed paint so far. Leave a follow, a like if you do. And now let me actually speak about this painting, since it's a speed paint after all. Um, yeah, you saw me in the beginning changing up her pose a few times and in the end I stayed with the one that you can see right now. I don't know if you notice it, but that's one of my first paintings on my iPad and with Procreate. So I kind of felt a bit uncomfortable at first. It was yeah, just new terrain that needed to be explored. I tried out a few brushes, I think, here with the flowers. Don't ask me which brush, I don't know anymore. It's really a long time ago. But yeah, I was pretty happy with the end result of the painting, actually. I did have some trial and error with other pieces before, but those were pretty much only sketches. This is the first really finished illustration that I made on Procreate. And yeah, I liked it. You will see the end result too in a few minutes. You saw me adding blush just now. And at the moment I am adding a few details here and there, some shadows under the knees. I'm looking out more and more shadows at this point. You can now see me darkening the legs, which is because it's in the lower part, so less light is hitting. And I'm now doing the same with the hair, the parts that are covered by other hair or her face and the back. Those are the darkest parts and you will see me saturating these darkest parts even more than the rest. So that is really a vibrant blue. And I'm already adding the light as you can see. I like to play around with hard and soft edges and you will see me add lights especially at the rim of the shadow so that you have some contrast and highlight these harsh edges, the few harsh edges that I have here. I think that brings a lot of character to the piece. So I'm adding a few more details. You can see it especially in the face. I just added highlights in the eyes, which gives the piece more life. And now I'm adding a few shadows that yeah, I have left out for now since I was only focusing on the skin. Now I'm also going to the clothes. Next off are the flowers. And for the flowers, you can see me play around a little. I was trying to, yeah, experiment with that and maybe with different textures. I kept the whole piece sketchy for once I didn't do line art. Yeah, and you see me completely leave out the line art for the flowers. I'm adding some kind of background, a shadow, and yeah, that's it. 